Hello Scorpio, hello you. The cat's woken up Scorpio. <laughs> Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. Oh, you're sitting there. You're sitting there. Okay. Um, Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for the week for Scorpio. What's the week to come for Scorpio? Thank you. Week to come for Scorpio. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio. So I have the Two of Cups, the Moon and the Hermit as your overarching energy. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Let's move the pumpkins out of the way. The Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles now. Ace of Wands, okay. And we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, something is, um, the, the moon, the moon is a lack of clarity and uncertainty. Um, but when we shine the light from within with the Hermit, it's about deep down I feel this is the way I need to go. It might well be, again, the Two of Cups can be my bond between two people. This can be very positive in terms of love, romance, relationships, friendships, or business, you know. Uh, two of Cups can be an important connection, uh, offers invitations. So however this manifests for you, if it's to do with a relationship or a friendship, it might well be you're saying, deep down, I feel I need to go in this direction. Because it looks like you're evaluating an offer, and you're not sure whether to take it or not. But this is where you're kind of like, you might be discussing it with somebody else this week, maybe a trusted confidant, and saying, I'm not sure which way to go. And then you kind of find the way forward in terms of which way you feel you need to go here, Scorpio. And that's what I'm getting here. Because the, the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles, it can be linked with answer prayers higher power at work, having faith in what you're being offered here. So it looks with the, the Knight of Pentacles, something is being offered to you that may well be heavily influenced by spirit. The Knight of Pentacles can be uh, a new job, a new business opportunity, a new career path. Knight brings offers and opportunities for change. And this is the solid offer, very good in terms of the conscious world, money, career, finances, property, home, real estate, assets, you know, uh, but it feels like whatever you're being offered, it looks like the Spirit is telling you, have faith. Have faith in what you're being offered here. Sometimes, you know, this might be the right way to go. Let's pull a card for the Hierophant. Or have faith that this is coming to you. Again, the Knight of Pentacles, Hierophant. This can also be have faith that this is coming to you, this offer. One more card for that combination, please. It's, it's, it's your, this feels like it's yours either way. Some kind of answer prayer. 
Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Two of Cups. Could be some kind of um like a, I mean the Two of Cups can be an offer or an invitation, an important connection. If you're deciding which way to go, you might be deciding between, you know, a soul connection. Which way do I go? What do you think? I mean, however this, this feels for you here, it feels like some kind of feels like an important connection here. Because the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles is when we take stock and evaluate, we look at the details of our current situation uh, with a view to having the potential of greater material abundance. It might well be whatever you're being offered, offers an increase in money, uh, offers a better package, you know, uh, pay you as you deserve, you know. So this is what you, you're taking stock and evaluating here. You're considering maybe whether you stay or go. Because with the Seven of Swords, this feels like secretly planning to leave, secretly planning to, um, you know, set things up to go for this new opportunity. Could the Queen of Wands and the, the Ace of Wands is somebody who offers the Wands energy. She can be a leader in business. Very good in terms of new opportunity, new job, new business opportunity, new career path, a new project, new initiative. I mean, whatever the scenario would be here, it could even be uh, have, setting up a partnership on your own. This could even be uh, getting a, a sum of money or approval on a sum of money to start something with another person. Either way, it looks like that path is opening up for you and you're secretly, uh, it feels like you're setting things in motion in a secret manner to, to, to move through that new door. Let's see what we have. Um, Queen of Wands is very empowered, go-getting, driven, action-orientated. Would likely be somebody who would be very good to go into business with as well. Can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. But this is somebody who understands how to bring success their way. If that was the case, like I said, this can also be a leader offering you some kind of opportunity. Looks like it's too good to miss for you. Let's pull a card for the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Just one. Well, the Ten of Pentacles just turned over them, but about seven other cards did. So let's just have... One more card, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for Scorpio. Yeah, the, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel Spirit is strongly encouraging you. The, this is, I mean, free will, Scorpio. But if there is some kind of new um, opportunity to start a new path, uh, it looks like it's, it's absolutely got your name on it. You know, this just feels like it's meant for you. I feel that you're, there's there's fear factor. I mean, sometimes the fear factor is there, there's uncertainty. Sometimes, you know, um, it's the unknown factor, isn't it? But it definitely feels like there is some kind of uh, exciting, new, beautiful, blessed beginning. I mean, this is a very good, uh, these are gift energies. So this is um, spirit really kind of like a, Something new, something solid, stable, secure, new abundance, action orientated, go for it, exciting, growth, possibility, you know, empowerment. I mean, this just feels like uh, there is definitely some kind of new exciting beginning that's just being presented to you. And it's, it's in your career area. Free will, I mean, you choose at the end of the day. Could be some kind of, yeah, I mean, it just feels, it just feels like, uh, I mean, if, if, if I had a, a choice here, Scorpio, of whether to go for it or not, I would go for it. Um, because it feels like it's been heavily influenced by spirit, but free will. These are general readings. 
Okay, what do we have for Scorpio as a final message? There is a lot too many cards there. There's about seven cards. Let's just get one card. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio. We have hidden depth. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. And we have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. Well, there is definitely some kind of invitation here. Um, that's what I see for you. It feels like you're, in, you're invited to, to walk through a new door. I mean, this is the energy here, but it just feels like... It, yeah, just really lovely energy. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.